All right, so let's look at this problem, this example. We want to identify each of the equations as a circle, parabola, ellipse, or hyperbola. So you don't need to graph it. You don't need to find the equation standard form. We just need to say which is which. Okay, so a circle is going to have an equation, like an expanded form is going to have an equation like x squared plus y squared plus other stuff. Okay, so the important part is the x squares and the y squares. So if you have both x squared and y squared, they're added and they have the same coefficients, then it's a circle. All right, so if I look through my problems here, then we can see that c is a circle. It has x squared plus y squared, some other stuff. That's a circle. An ellipse, let me just write it here. So ellipse is going to have x squared plus, let's have a1 and a2. a1 x squared plus a2 squared plus other stuff. Okay, so we have it has to an ellipse has to have both the x squared and the y squared with the plus in the middle and a1 is different than a2. If these are the same then it's a circle okay if the coefficients are different then it's an ellipse but it has it has to have the x squared and the y squared and the plus and the different coefficients okay so looking through this we see that a is an ellipse okay so it has x squared plus y squared, but these are different from each other. The other stuff doesn't matter in identifying what they are. They matter when you find the center and all that stuff, but we're just identifying the graph. All right, a hyperbola will have ax squared minus, let's stick with the a1, b1, okay, a1, x squared, a to y squared plus other stuff. Okay? Or you could have the y squared comes first. You can have a to y squared minus a one x squared plus other stuff. All right? So you have to have both x squared, y squared, and minus in between. All right? These could be the same or different. It doesn't it's still, if they're the same as a hyperbola, if it's different, it's a hyperbola. The minus thing is what's important here, okay? So we can see that B is a hyperbola. All right, because it has x squared minus y squared. All right, parabola, it's only going to have one of them squared. So you can have like a1x squared plus by or, or a2y. Okay. Or a2y squared plus a1x. So if only one of them is squared, like either x squared, y squared, but the other stuff is not squared, then it's a parabola. So you can see that this is a parabola because it has only x is squared. All right, there you go. That's how you identify which conic section it is.